Yes, sir. So what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. It's so hilarious how everybody doubts me. You really doubt? You really doubt your boy? Come on, son. Why do people doubt me? I told you all this morning that they changed stuff. People in the comments, <laughs> I doubt that they changed shooting because I'm shooting the same. Dude, I told you, just because you don't have an issue doesn't mean something changed. Then did not change. I told y'all that, first off, I told y'all that uh, that these uh, pure sharps and all that, I mean, it's pretty much overpowered. Trades up, splash down. But uh, we're not even talking about that. Listen, Mike Wong put the tweet out. Not even, what What was this like? Uh, he put it out at 11 a.m., which was like four or five hours after I put my video out, or sometime after I put my, get that out of here, after I put my video out. And it says, for those who saw fewer greens after patch 1.04, today's update should put it back to where it was. Also, a slight buff to layup, layup success. Who ordered the layup success? Really? Really? Who in the world ordered the layup, the, the, the layup buff? We didn't need a layup buff. What we needed was for sharpshooters to be sharpshooters and just shoot sharply. We didn't need them going to the rim and and, and now you gotta, like it's, it's really ridiculous because there was a way to play sharpshooters regardless of if they wanted to do left, right, regardless of if they wanted to do this or that. You could just, you could just crowd them, crowd them, crowd them. Don't give them any space, hold your hand up. Nine times out of 10, they're gonna miss a shot unless they're dancing behind screens. But with this, dude, I've seen sharpshooters finishing at the rim, not only finishing at the rim, but they're finishing at the rim with consistency. Now I know you can finish at the rim. Trades up, break down. I know, I know that you can finish at the rim before this uh, consistently, but not as consistently as they are now, because it's like big men can't get blocks anymore. And, uh, and, and now sharpshooters can go to the rim and make anything around the rim. So now everybody's got layup success. And now you have to defend everybody as if they're a slasher. So now how am I supposed to defend sharpshooters? Yeah, I, I've still found ways to do it. But once everybody realizes that sharpshooters can go to the rim, like I noticed this in like my first game this morning. I think we played two games this morning. I noticed this right off the bat. First game, I was like, dude, I'm not getting blocks on these sharpshooters like I was. And the thing, it would be one thing if they, if they made it so that this just more layup success. Right! They didn't do that. They made the layup success go up by dumbing down the defense. See, everything has a cause and effect. If you make the layup success go up, they dumbed down, they, they, they didn't, they didn't they, this doesn't happen by proxy, but they actually dumbed down the defense around the rim and then somehow made it so big men can't dunk on guards. Like it, it literally makes no sense what they did, this team is just giving up. It doesn't make any sense. So now I figured, I, I've gone back in, I have figured out how to get these blocks, and now I'm, I'm, I'm swatting everything around the rim again. But the thing is, why do things keep changing? I should not have to continue to change my game. If I went to sleep and the game was one way, I should wake up, trades up, splash down. I should wake up and the game should be the same way. It shouldn't be a guessing game. Chess is chess, checkers is checkers. All these other games are the same every day. Why? It's just like when, uh, I, I, this, this reminds me of when David Vonderhoor killed every game that he ever had anything to do with because they were changing stuff so often with Black Ops and Black Ops 2 and stuff like that. It's like every day it was a different game. Nobody wants to deal with that. And then like, they, like my dog, um, like my dog Chano, he was like, yesterday he was saying, dang, it's re it really is sharpshooter, and that's all. It's not like sharp, uh, sharp something else. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's literally sharpshooter, and that's it. So what he was meaning was, what he was meaning when he was saying it's sharpshooter and that's it, he was meaning that he can't go to the rim. If he did go to the rim, he couldn't do it with any consistency because he would just get blocked or he would just blow the layup. Now. Today, he's getting contact dunks. He's making uh, layups in traffic. He's making everything. It doesn't matter. So now, in pro, and this is not in the park, this is in pro-am. In pro-am, he's able to go to the rim with consistency, with zero fear of who's down there. Now, why is a sharpshooter able to do that? So you already know that you got slashers going crazy down there. If you've got a small forward or a guard slasher, you're God right now. 
you can't be stopped. And it's ridiculous because it should not be that way. You should be able to play defense on every archetype some type of way. Everybody's one dimensional to a degree and then you can rely on your secondary to kind of get you over. But these guys, nah, nah. Let's make sharpshooters two dimensional. They still can't really dribble, but the fact of the matter is they don't have to be able to dribble because they can just left right. So if they're left righting and then you close out too hard on them, they can go to the rim. How are we supposed to stop them? I got no clue. I figured it out because like I said, it doesn't matter what you do, Mike Wong. If, if you want to play chess, game on. Change the game every single day, continue to do it, and I will continue to show you that I can do this every time. I'm going to continue to shoot the basketball with efficiency and consistency. I will continue to stop people at the rim and I will continue to do what I'm gonna do because I can, I can adapt to anything. It's the other people that can't adapt. So if you wanna ruin the game for other people, that's just fine. Ruin the game for them, but you ain't ruining it for me because I just take it as a personal challenge that no matter what you throw at me every morning and then they still pass it at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or 6.30 or something, maybe seven o'clock. They stealth passed it then, so I guess they figured that nobody would be on it. They would just get the update and that was going to be it. But it is what it is, man. This is typical 2K, 2K fashion. This is what they do. They do things and hope that nobody's going to notice. And then when everybody notices because we play the game every day and they don't, or the people that like the YouTubers and stuff, they don't play the game every day. I play this game every day. If you change one thing, one degree, I'm going to notice. Especially something as big as this. Like... It's not just layups, it's dunks. You got sharpshooters that could not dunk before and they're going to the rim and banging on people now. One dude, and, and it's ankle breakers too. I'm seeing too many ankle breakers now. My dude, my dog, uh, I was playing with today, man. He was toes up eight times in one game and it wasn't because he couldn't play defense. It's because the game, like they change things, man. I don't understand why they keep changing this stuff. I don't know what they get out of it, but it is what it is, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we 22 old, those guys, man. And uh, my dog, Lord Tay, he was out there, but uh, his teammates wasn't much help. Hey, Lord Tay, we gotta run with us next time, man. You gotta get on the winning team, get rid of that, get rid of winner, and get rid of that chicken dinner. But I gotta get up out of here, man. Hey, sorry to hear about Gordon Hayward. We will have NBA videos starting on tomorrow. And um, I'll holla at y'all tomorrow. Till so, till I'll holla at y'all tomorrow. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mug. You want to make a game out of it and ruin it for everybody else to prove your point? I promise you, I can adapt to anything, sir. Anything.